Hey guys, what's up? Jin Chern. Welcome to another tutorial on how to record your very own cinematics for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, today we're going to be looking at making some cinematics with the players in them from your own GoTV demos or a professional game that happened. You downloaded the demo, you want to make a cool cinematic for an edit, things like that. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to this link I'm going to leave in the description below. This is a link to a program called HLEE. Uh, and this basically allows us to modify cam path keyframes things like that all inside of Counter-Strike Global Offensive instead of us having to make the keyframe somewhere else in Cinema 4D things like that and then import them into Counter-Strike and try and line them up with our shots things like that so this program pretty much makes it a lot easier it's based on Half-Life so it runs on the same Valve engine and one thing I will say is that you want to keep this program up to date as much as you possibly can because if it st if it goes out of date then it will stop working uh, it does have an auto update feature on it so it notifies you if there is an update download it straight away because then otherwise it will not work anymore so we are going to head over to this I'll leave a link to this in the description below and then you will want to go onto the current release and then it will be this dot zip down here that you want to download once it's downloaded just drag it anywhere onto your desktop etc and it will come up with all of these files in here <clears throat> so uh, first off you want to make sure that you extract it so if we put it on here I can extract it to a separate folder and then once it's extracted we'll have a look at it here uh, you'll have all these files in it and we're going to be using this HLAE uh, application inside of here so you want to load this up get rid of that now uh, click run and we can close out of this folder so you can see it says check for updates automatically yes we do want to do that that's a very important make sure we need to do that uh, and so when we first load up this program it's not going to have anything set up in it so we want to do that first of all we want to go to tools developer and then custom loader that will load up this little window here and you can see the command line that is all the commands it's going to put in the launch options for counter strike when it loads up um, so that's things like insecure means we won't be able to join VAC servers, things like that, because this is essentially a hack. All right? I, that's not to scare you away. This is pretty much a hack because it's letting us modify keyframes and things inside of Counter Strike. Valve know about this, which is why we've got Dash Insecure. Protects yourself. So if you've got that in the launch options, you're not going to get vacked. Pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say here. Um, so now these two boxes here, we need to make sure we fill in your hook DLL on the program path so the hook DLL will click browse and the hook DLL will be inside of the folder so wherever you saved this folder here on the desktop we want to choose this file here the afx hook source DLL double click on that load that in and the program path is going to be counter strike so we'll go into our C drive program files steam steam apps common Counter-Strike and then the application CSGO. Now once you've got all of those in here, we'll click OK and this will launch up Counter-Strike for us. Now uh, if you update this program, uh, I, I, to be honest I can't remember off the top of my head but I think you might have to do that again. Um, but once you've done that the first time you won't need to do that again unless obviously you update, upload the program again or update it now to make sure we know that all the plugins have installed themselves correctly in the console if you type Merv you can see it loads up all these different uh, commands here if the plugin didn't install itself properly then if you type in Merv nothing will come up down here but as you can see it has so that's good we know that this is working and then there's the notification telling you we've got insecure on so we can't join any VAC servers anything like that so if you want to go on MM restart counter-strike without the program you'll be good to go so we can click OK and this is where we're going to go and find our demo so if we go into watch uh, downloaded so these are all the demos I've got downloaded again if you wanted to use a professional game you can always download the demo from the professional game the go TV demo drag and drop it into your replays folder in the counter-strike steam apps folder uh, and then it will pop up in here so we can we can use it now if we go onto a game where we won there we go this is a naughty little one there naughty 16 to 1 win so we want to click watch on go TV not your highlights go TV we want to watch it on click on that and then it will load into the game so if you just watch your highlights then 
we're not going to be able to go from the different perspectives because you've got first person perspective the third person perspective and then the perspective where you can fly about um, you might know what I mean I'll show you in a second um, but pretty much we want to be able to go into the perspective where we can fly about by ourselves so if we use if we press shift F2 so I didn't explain what I did there shift F2 will load up this little window here and then if we just click round here it takes us to the first round you can you know go backwards and forwards between the rounds um, so we're gonna go to here and then click pause so we can stop ourselves at this at this keyframe here so one thing I like to do first off is just make sure that we've got the camp path cleared um, so MIRV underscore campath space clear so if you've got anything left over from your other demos that you were doing put that in that will get rid of it all like that uh, and then now we want to go on to our different perspectives so if we press space you can see we go on to our different perspectives here so this is a uh, person point of view this is now us watching that player from a third person point of view and then this is us now in free mode so change by putting space there um, so that allowed me to get rid of or change between each one um, so if we press shift F2 again and slow this down to about about 15% around here 15 whatever percent 13.6 whatever around there you want it quite slow because if you're an editor you know that slowing down a clip is a lot harder than speeding a clip up if you know what I mean so if you record something super super slow motion and you only want it at a little bit slow-mo then you can speed that clip up to make it that slow-mo but if you record something normal speed and you wanted to slow motion it it'll be a lot harder to try and make that clip slow motion because you want to make sure it's recorded in what 200 fps or something stupid like that to try and slow it down without it jittering all over the screen things like that but if you record it in a super slow motion as I said it's like 10% 15% of the speed you can speed it up and it would it will look a lot nicer which is the main thing so we're gonna go down to this kind of uh, slow motion here now this cinematic is just going to be players coming out of CT, nothing special. If you see, um, I'm not going to rush through this, but if you spend a lot of time doing the keyframes, then you're going to have a lot of a nicer looking cinematic, if you know what I mean. So, um, the way this works is you'll be adding different keyframes as you watch through the demo, um, and then once you've enabled it, the program HLL, HLAE easy for me to say will splice together all the different keyframes spline them all together and then make the smooth cam path uh, for the camera to follow whatever anyway it doesn't really make sense from just saying talking about it so I'll jump straight in and show you what I mean so in order to speed up the process and not make it so clunky we're gonna bind it to one of our buttons on our mice or our mouse or whatever however you call it um, now if you watch the same tutorial as me by flax boy uh, he made a good tutorial on this as well so if you want a different perspective on how to do it head over to his channel he's got a great tutorial um, but he in his tutorial he showed himself binding it to the scroll wheel which I think is quite a nice place to add it to because um, it allows us then to do them on the fly instead of pausing it keyframe clearing it things like that um, so you want to do mirv underscore cam path space add okay that's going to be our command to add a keyframe okay so instead of typing that in the console to add a keyframe each time instead we're going to do bind space and then in our quotation marks mouse three so that's going to be our scroll wheel and then quotation marks again our command merv cam path add press enter that's now bound that to our our scroll wheel there so we can get rid of the console now now we're not going to quite get rid of the HUD yet but if we slow it down in fact if we get to the start another clip first just before they go slow it down again and get into your position for your first keyframe go. Go, go, go. and then now when they go click in our scroll wheel to make a keyframe we'll follow this guy over there and then we will click in again for another keyframe click in again for another keyframe so 
again, you see, as, as I mentioned, the more time you spend on this, the better you can make them look. But at the moment, I wouldn't say I'm rushing them, but I'm not spending quite as long as I could be. Okay, so once we've got our different keyframes, shift F2 and pause again. Uh, that will pause the demo and then we can go into our console and do MIRV underscore campath space enable. That's not enable. Enable. Oh my god, I can't type. Enable space one. Press enter. And so that's now enabled our campath. So we can get rid of that go back to the first or the starting of the round and then now we can if I just go back over to in fact no we don't need to if you clear the HUD now so CL underscore draw only death notice is one and CL underscore draw HUD is zero I'll leave a list to all the commands I use in the description anyway um, and then so if we press resume now um, you don't need to be in the first place um, where the first keyframe was but if we go back to the start so we can see when they do actually start going um, you'll tell because the color will come back but as soon as that's literally it we don't need to do anything else from this point now we just need to wait for the game to start no. go, so then go, here go. we go we're off now and this is counter-strike doing it this is now our our cinematic playing out for us now as you can see all the different keyframes have been splined together it's following the exact keyframes we put down excellent stuff see a bit of a clip through the wall there but as I said if you spend longer making the keyframes flipping through them there nice excellent um, but you know as I said if you spend longer putting the keyframes down um, and lining them up a bit better you can make some really nice looking cinematics that will look sick for some pretty cool edits so Thank you very much for watching. I hope this uh, I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed it. And if, there, if you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. Um, if I don't help you out, hopefully someone else can. Um, and then yeah, so guys, enjoy your cinematic making. Make some sick vids, and then leave a link to them in the comments, something like that. Send them to me or whatever, uh, so I can have a look and see what you've done. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. As I said, hope you enjoyed it. Have yourself an excellent rest of your day. And I'll see you later. Toodaloo.